Hi Gemini, here's a general look at your solar chart for September 2009 and I think family relationships are going to be emphasised this month for many of you and the dynamics, the inner mechanism uh, in many cases. So uh, that includes sibling relationships, blood relationships, but it also includes soul brothers and sisters as well and extended families, so neighbourhood, community, um, activities and that can uh, mean your also your clan your tribe that you belong to outside of your blood family anything like that is likely to be nearer the surface and also feelings will be nearer the surface this month uh, and it could be your feelings or it could be that somebody around you is is some kind of inner turmoil over something and it's catching it's like a virus so uh, uh, I don't think it's going to be too heavy though because um, your sign is about communications and this month uh, for most of the month for the first three weeks of the month you have Venus silver tongued Venus who brings balance and harmony in your own area in the area of the way your mind is how you think how you you know how you um, you're a sign that tends to stress and worry things to death, you know, and even overthink things. So you're going to have uh, the goddess of of love and peace and 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 harmony pour, pouring oil on um, uh, the waters uh, and uh, bringing a sense of uh, balance and calm into your thinking. So that's going to be really good. That's right up until the 21st. And then, even then, when she moves, she's going to be moving in and, and, and in fact, bringing her, her calming um, uh, feeling of, of sec uh, more security and uh, safety and calm into the family area. And so that will be affecting people around you in a good way, too. So, however, it can be a can of worms, can't it, family relationships and what's going on uh, between members of the family and also if one if something's affecting one member of the family, it affects the rest of you. So say it's somebody in your neighbourhood, say it's not a blood relation, well then you're going to feel a, a sense of obligation and responsibility more, I think, this month towards that person. Okay, things like that. Uh, some of you could be receiving a blast from the past and um, that can be a good thing or a not so good thing but definitely uh, things that maybe were swept under the carpet in the past well they're going to be um, coming up f you know to be aired now and uh, m many of you will be feeling nostalgic uh, uh, about somewhere or someone or some time in your life long ago. Uh, others of you will be reaching for the photo album or the tissues or both and uh, stumbling, stumbling over a skeleton or two in the closet. But whatever degree this occurs will be dependent on your personal natal chart, Gemini. So likely to be some emotional turmoil around, likely to be as well a tendency to trip over an old pattern or a knee-jerk response to a situation. So if you get thrown into fear, for instance, by something that you are apprehensive about and it's kind of churning up your feelings, as a matter of fact, there's a really original new kind of energy around uh, impacting this situation from the 9th to the 25th in particular which is going to allow you to think laterally or to get at least a different slant on things so definitely new approaches are favoured um, which can in fact um, put things to rest so heal an old wound settle an old feud or on an inner level, stop in its tracks an immediately an immediate um, psychological or emotional pattern in you that's going to you can tell it's going to boomerang you into an old scenario again. Because this new energy is there to help you, you can apply this new energy to any kind of more traditional or stuck type or repetitive situation. 
and hopefully you'll know what I mean <laughs> because I don't know your your individual situation um, now for others of you this energy can be more um, external it can relate to property matters um, or your territory or space and and there'll be um, the same um, emphasis here uh, perhaps you want to be protecting uh, uh, your space or, or, or maintaining a situation that you have achieved this can even be intellectual property it doesn't necessarily have to be bricks and mortar so that you'll feel a need to, uh, to, uh, for some sort of protection to a feeling of prote needing protect and maintain going on uh, definitely a month where you're going to be um, encouraged Gemini to put your house in order to lighten up so in other words let go of excess baggage and move on great for business by the way promotions of any kind anything in media anything in communications to do with, with to do with um, buying and selling because Venus right up until the beginning of the third week rather the end of the third week sorry um, is going to really help you with uh, negotiations and diplomacy and being persuasive and charming when you need to. Um, sisterhood is going to be strong too, I think, and that's really well uh, aspected. A good gossip with a friend will help put a lot of things right. You might even be wanting to get some advice uh, from somebody who works in the area of family relationships and mediation and so on. For some of you might want to do that. Um, and after the 21st, well, then there's going to be this real feeling of a balance coming in, a deeper appreciation of what you have in re your relationships, uh, a, a, a feeling of fulfillment inside, uh, really appreciating the people that you have around you, the place that you have around you, your roots um, and your family connections and your connection connections in your larger family in the community or group that you belong to. So progress is set to be steady and slow this month, nothing dramatic. Some points you'll feel a bit pressured, that's going to be between the, um, the 16th to the um, 19th and the 21st of the 23rd. Th just things are more difficult to achieve there. Um, and uh, watch that you don't overreact to, to, to anything there. You might feel a bit tested there. Others around you as well, they might be going through it too uh, because we are so connected. Everything is connected, but particularly with our uh, members of our family and people that we're close to on a soul level or an emotional level or both, um, you know, we pick up on each other's stuff. And um, external influences related to home and family and community responsibilities are likely to be the pivot to motivate you to make changes. But first of all, you've got to put your house in order, your inner and outer house in order. And that's going to be going on this month. Well, that's it for September. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too. <laughs>